Hey everyone, it's Ryan here and today I want to talk to you about friction. So as you can see, I've got boxes and stuff behind me and that's because I'm in the middle of getting ready to move. But in getting ready to move and uh, just buying a new house, I thought I would talk to you today a little bit about friction and why friction sucks so much. I saw a post from Tumblr circulating around the interwebs last week. If I can find it, I'll put it down below. I was reflecting on that and what it means to me and I realized that, well, I'm usually traveling at high capacity a lot of the time. So I don't want this to sound like a humble brag vlog, but let me run down for a little bit of context a non-exhaustive list of things that I'm typically getting myself involved with. I work a full-time job at the college. I moonlight a couple nights a week as a bouncer. I also teach a course up at the college in philosophy. I'm on two ethics boards. One of them I'm going to be taking over as their in-house ethicist. The other one I'm just about to take over as the chair both of the research ethics board and of the nonprofit corporation. I just said that we're getting ready to move and that's because we bought a house and we're going to be moving in a couple months. I maintain a blog once a week. I film these vlog episodes once a week. I'm trying to maintain a, an exercise regimen a couple days a week. I've always got little artistic projects on the go, like the, the Doodle A Day Challenge from 2016, Jim's and Mine Music Challenge in 2017, and I was taking some painting classes, which I showed some of them. You can kind of see one up just right there. Oh, and did I mention that I'm going to be getting married this year? So yeah, my, my significant other is doing most of the legwork on that one, but that's still something that I have to help out with on occasion. And then on top of all that, I try to maintain a normal, healthy set of relationships with friends and family and fit in personal time wherever I can. So when I say I'm busy, I mean I'm busy, uh, but that's busy by my own choice. I like to stay occupied, I like to involve myself in all sorts of cool things. But then I notice that because I'm always running at a kind of a high RPM, any little bits of friction that comes along tends to really disrupt me and it really tends to bring me down. So when last week we got a notice from the city that the underground parking needs to be closed down for, for much needed repairs and all of the tenants who park underground and on top of the parking structure all need to park along the street, which means every day you need to find parking and a lot that extra time to walk to your car, that was friction. When the check engine light came on in my car and my engine was kind of doing a glug, 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 glug thing, that was friction. When I get a notice from the Canada Revenue Agency that there's still outstanding payments due, which I've already paid and called them multiple times and yet they keep sending me letters, that's friction. When I came down with a cold that made me take time off work and I had a fever and I can't exercise, that creates friction. When we were house hunting and having to travel, you know, a couple cities over to go check out houses after work, that creates friction. Friction in and of itself is not a bad thing. These are the normal things that come up and they're part of everybody's life. But I find that when these little bits of friction come up, they really tend to disrupt my routine. And not only do they disrupt my routine, but they, they are usually just a drag on me. I mean, when I got the last letter from the revenue agency about an amount that I had paid months before and called at least twice about since then, I kind of wanted to cry in frustration. But hey, everybody hates friction. Everybody experiences friction. So I think the most important thing to remember is be kind to other people because you never know what they've got going on in the background, but also remember to be kind to yourself. And I think that's the, the most important lesson that I take from this is when I get, you know, a little bits of friction here and there, I just got to remember that they're not permanent. They're just tiny little road bumps that I have to overcome and then keep moving forward. So just remember, be kind to yourself. That's the best way to stay awesome. Anyways, see you next time.